Welcome to March's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is integer to Roman. Now, I'm not going to read the problem because it's fairly simple. We want to convert an integer to Roman numerals. Here we have the symbols and values that the Roman numerals represent. If these were the only ones that exist, it would be easy. But the problem is, what about these values for like 4, 9, 40, 90, such stuff like that? That is represented differently with IV, IX, so on and so forth. Uh, so the easiest way I believe we could do this is to simply start with the largest symbol value and see if that's less than the number that we have so far. Uh, if it is, then we could add that symbol to some sort of output and then subtract that value from the integer itself and continue the loop until we can no longer see that this value is um, less than whatever we have left. If it's uh, no longer less, we move on to the uh, next smallest number and continue the loop until we um, uh, take care of the entire integer. Now, uh, the only trick here is we need to add uh, extra symbols here for like four, 900, 400, 40, and 30, but this algorithm will remain the same. So what we'll do is first create a lookup. I'm going to make it a dictionary, and luckily in Python these dictionaries are ordered. Uh, so we can just reverse it later to, to go from descending order. Uh, what I'll do is make these a string and I also will need to take care of all those values I talked about like 4 and 9 uh, that would have to be put here like this so make sure to update these values for 9 now we need 40 and uh, 90 that would be x l x c make sure it's 90, 40, and 400, 900. This would be M, this would be D. So, all right, so now we have our lookup dictionary. So the rest of the algorithm is fairly simple. Uh, what we'll do is go in reverse order. First create an output with just an empty list. And we'll say for key value in lookup dot items, but make sure to reverse it because we want to start with the largest number first. Now you could have restructured this with the largest on top, but uh, I mean this is still O of n, so I don't think it's a big deal. We'll say while we still have a number, so num is greater than zero, uh, if the value we have is less or equal to num, then we're going to add to our output the key and we're going to subtract from the num the value. Now otherwise, if this is not the case, we're going to break out of our loop and move on to the next number. So finally, we should have our output, so we are just going to do a string join to return it in string format. All right, so let's see if this works. That looks like it's working. Let's submit it. And there we go. Now, time complexity-wise, I believe it's O of n, n being the number of symbols we have here, uh, because at most, each one of these we're going to be adding four times. Keep in mind that the constraint is uh, this is going to be less than 4,000, so each one of these we can only add four times, so I think that's in the end O of n. Uh, space complexity is also the same because of our output. Um, I suppose we do use some extra space here because of this, uh, but I don't think that makes it any Big difference. Now I did see some O of 1 solutions where you could write every symbol for each digit value from like 1 to 9 and then uh, 10 to you know 99 or wh whatever 10 to 99 uh, get all those digit values and write those symbols and do it all in O of 1 but that requires a lot of work in, in terms of creating the lookup dictionary, so I decided to avoid that. Uh, that would be faster, but I think this is fine. It's more intuitive anyway. All right, thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.